What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've got some good stuff for you today. We're going to go do some modifications to the truck. Oh, it's so hot out. It's probably like 97 degrees. I'm um, 79 degrees and I think it's 93% humidity. So I bet we're going to be sweating our butt off in no time. Let me show you what we got. We have got us a front skid plate, radiator skid plate from Z1, and a nice snorkel from Z1. Gonna get those installed, show you guys how to do it, and uh, yeah, test them out, see how it goes, let's get to it. All right, we're gonna start with the uh, snorkel. That's pretty much the whole kit there. We'll do the template first. We'll get that set up, and then we'll get to cutting. We won't do anything super in depth. You can watch the install video from Z1. It has a lot more information on it than what I'm going to give you. I'm just going to show you how I'm doing it. And um, it should be pretty simple. It's literally three holes and some pipes. So we got the template put on. We just marked all of our holes here, here, and here. So when we take it off, we'll know where we got to cut. So that hole will be coming out. And then these three is what mounts the actual snorkel to the body. So we're going to get it cut. So before we do that, we're going to take these rubber, um, rubber washer and we're going to silicone those holes. Let's take these on there, let them dry, and then we'll start cutting the holes. All right, those three are done. We're going to move on to the big one. And then we're going to take the inner fender liner out right after that. Yeah, you know what? I think I should change my mind. It's all the dirt that fell out of that hole. keeps falling out of the truck every time we take the saw to it just the vibration we'll see how much comes out by the time we're done all right so we got that done um we're going to try to find something to spray on that exposed metal that we cut make sure that doesn't rust and then after that, we'll get started on taking the fender out. <laughs> Voila. All right, so we got the fender liner out, which is incredibly dirty. Uh, I'll probably wash that out before we put the liner back in. Um, took us a second to figure out which bolts go where. There's no like real instructions. I mean, it's pretty straightforward and simple, but, um, and we figured out these three and uh, these three washers. We're gonna go here. So we're gonna get some Loctite, get that set up, and then we'll mount it up on the truck. All right, so that took some doing. Uh, the two bolts that are right here, those went hard to get to. This one up here is a little tricky to get to because that secondary fender wall back there uh, it's really close, doesn't give you a lot of room. I had to tighten it down pretty much with like going like that. It was really hard for me. So if you have smaller hands, you might be all right. But um, yeah, so we're gonna get that into position, tighten that down, and then we'll tighten this down and work on the tube on the inside. All right, so we got that mounted up. It's nice and sturdy. That was fairly easy. Uh, we went to open the hood so we can get on the inside and work on the tubing that runs from here into the air box. And then when we lift the hood up, we realize that the uh, lights are hidden so i'm gonna take these lights off for now um, i'm not sure if we maybe installed this just a hair too far this way i mean it looks like there's an even gap on both sides is what they tell you to do i don't know but i mean everything else was easy but those don't line up and i'm pretty sure the person who has this at z1 also has ditch lights but they're not this brand, so maybe it's not compatible. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna take these off for now. We'll fool with that later. 
even with the head the light taken off it's still when we bring it up to the hood it's still hidden so i got to remove that bracket before we can do any more so luckily it's just right here so we'll do that well we got the air box out we're going to go ahead and hose off the inside because it desperately needs it that's all caked up A lot better already all right much better got the top layer of dirt and mud off of there so much much better now you can actually see my radiator and the fan before it was just a wall of mud so that's all cleaned up i went ahead and cleaned out this part that had uh the fender liner was holding on so all right we're gonna get back to work all we gotta do is connect the hose the tube up to the intake mount it here and put the box back in and we're good to go okay so we just got the pipe um here's if i can zoom out some there you go just got that set up we got the tube running up against the fender and we got the grommet set and the tube set up inside the grommet so uh we gotta get our hose clamp on the grommet and then we'll put the air box back in and she should be good to go all right here's an update so let me show you what we got going on so in here with the kit comes this grommet, right? Uh, the grommet right there. And on the other side of that grommet is a tube that runs up to the intake. Um, so what we just finished doing was we got to get the air box on this side of the grommet and put the clamp on. We just finished that. That was kind of a pain in the butt. What we should have done first was put that box on the grommet, get it tightened down, get the uh, clamp put on, and then put the uh, grommet in there and then got the tube on the inside of the fender and put it on. We did it the other way around. We did the tube first and then the air box and that's why I was kind of a pain in the butt because you got to get the box inside the grommet and there's nowhere for you to put your hand at the bottom. Down in here there's nowhere for you to put your hand to make sure it's secured inside of that grommet um, so it took a little bit of time but doing it the other way around would have saved us some time so do that. All right all we gotta do is put the uh, intake back in the filter Get our pipe button back up and she's done. Oh, we gotta put the uh, fender liner back on. Okay guys, we are back home and it's actually the day after we installed the snorkel. Uh, the rain came down really hard and I couldn't make any more video because you honestly couldn't hear me at all. All you heard was rain. So um, I decided to shoot the rest of this video today and what do you know, it's raining again. So whatever, we're just gonna get through it. So a couple things about the snorkel you need to know. First, they will not work with the CBI ditch uh, light brackets. I had another one over here. I had to take this one off because when you open the hood, it catches on the side of the snorkel. So if you have CBI, those aren't going to fit with this. Um, I know Z1 sells their own ditch light brackets. I'm sure they fit with it. Uh, but yeah, you won't be able to use CBI or maybe there's other ones that I don't know about that also won't fit. If they stick out the same as CBI, I'd be uh, careful about that because you might not be able to use them. Uh, anyway, another thing. We did drill the drain plug down here. Uh, that was easy to do. Just keeps any water that might get in the snorkel. Uh, there's just a way to drain it. So other than that, everything went really well. Um, I mean, it's super solid on there, which is nice. Uh, the fender liner wasn't too bad to get out. Uh, you guys saw in the video, everything seemed to put together pretty well. Didn't have any issues on that. Um, I think it looks really good. I'm excited to get out and uh, go back out to Rich Loam and where it's wet out and have a little bit more confidence in uh, knowing that the truck's not going to completely seize up, maybe. But I think it looks really good. The quality seems to be good. I put my hand up top on the uh, up top on the inlet while it was on and hit the gas. You can definitely feel it sucking air. So um, that's nice. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It looks it looks super good, and I'm pretty happy with the quality of it too. Oh, and one more thing: this will only work if you have the Z1 intake, like the cold air intake they sell. It only works with that. Um, I'm 99.99% sure it will not work with any other intake or the stock intake. Anyway, so make sure you have the Z1 intake. If not, this thing won't work. 
you're wondering why it's not going to work is because the tube comes out to this grommet and the factory air intake does not go into that grommet it doesn't go into that hole like that so it's pretty much not going to fit you got to have the z1 box all right guys it's going to be it for this one if you guys like the intake and or the snorkel if you want to get your own i'll leave a link down in the description head on over to z1 check it out pick you up one install it they're they're wonderful so uh if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time